Hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight I like to do an animal that everyone is extremely familiar with. I want to do an orangutan head. I figured this would be a good little project to do tonight and as you can see there that I got the nice blue eyes, you know, you got all the fur on the face and I think it'll be a very interesting animal to do. So I'll show you the types of clay that you can use, which are an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens, and you can use it over and over again. This is the one that I always used when I was a kid, and uh, I really enjoyed using it because when I got bored with it, then I just roll it back up into a ball and make something else. Another type of clay that you can use is an air-hardening clay such as this, which will harden in two hours or overnight. And uh, this one you can actually paint once it hardens. And that's a good advantage of it. You can't use it again, but it's a nice one that, you know, once you make it, you can put it on the shelf. My preference for the clay is called a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be fired in the oven at about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it. You can make a tremendous amount of detail with it. And that's why I like it. The size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight are, we're going to use this big ball of clay here, and this is going to be the head. And then what I'm going to do is I have this other smaller ball here. We're going to use that for the nose. But we, we will add some other clay as I move along with the sculpture. I want to show you what we're going to do. Right now, what I want to do is I want to create this, this part here. I'm going to flatten this out for the face. I'm going to create this area right here. And I will show you how we, we will do that. I'm going to pick up the piece of clay. And we're going to just kind of take. And I want to. Just going to squeeze a little bit in both sides. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. And we're going to get the other side also. See how I'm doing that? Just squeezing it. And we're, we're, we're going to get that so we can get the face. So what I want to do is work that out like that. So now what I'll do is I'm going to compare it to the other model that we have right here. See how they're very similar in shape and size? And that's what I want to obtain, get that nice shape. So what we're going to do is I'll just work on this a little bit more like that. Just kind of squeeze it. Just like that. And then what I plan to do is I want to take this other ball of clay now and I want to put this in the front right here. So we're going to add that right there. Just like that. Just going to work it in like that. Just going to work that in like that. And then I'm going to kind of make some little indentations for the eyes here. And I think what we will do is we're going to add, I'm going to take a little bit of clay from over here, and we're going to add a little more clay to the top of the head. So I'll take a piece like this, add it up here. It's going to almost like, almost looks like a cone shape. So you're just going to work that in like that. And I'll take another piece of clay off of here. I'm going to add a little more up there. Just like that. And work that in. And so we've done that. And we've got the eyes here. And then what I think I will we'll do now, now we've got a little more of the, that built up. I just want to compare it to my other one. 
I think what we'll do is we'll start working on the face a little more. And that'll be, see this nose area in this area here? I want to work on that a little more right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to press that down a little bit. And what I'm going to be using tonight is a toothpick, which can be bought at your the supermarket or CVS. It's got the double ends. And what I want to do is I want to make the face. So I'm going to make the mouth. So we're going to take this and kind of work it. See, I'm doing that like that. Work that for the mouth. And then what we will do is I want to create the nose area. And we will do that. I think we'll do that right about here. See that? Take the toothpick. And then we'll take and do it on the other side. Like that. Want to make sure they're approximately the same size. And then what I'd like to do is I would like to add some clay to the side of the face. I'm going to take a piece of clay like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take it and place it over here to the side. Kind of work it in a little bit. Like that. See how I'm pushing that in? And we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to grab a piece of clay approximately the same size. And I'm just going to kind of, see I'm kind of working that a little bit in my fingers. And I'm going to see if it's about the same size, which it is. And we'll put that on the other side. And in a minute you'll see how this is going to work out. It'll, it'll be nice. Then what I want to do is I want to make the eyes here. So these two eyes here, we're going to use the sculpting tool, and I'll show you how to do that. A sculpting tool that I have right here, it's, got a, it's very round, and I've shown you the package before. You can, they can be bought in an art store. It comes in a package of about eight tools like this. There's some metal ones and then some other plastic ones. And what we will do is we will scoop, we'll take this and we'll scoop out the eyes like this. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scoop out the other one. So see this here? See that? I'm going to take the scoop going from this side. And then you can go in from this side. So now we're almost through with getting that done. See how I kind of hollowed out those eyes there? Then what we want to do is we want to roll the clay. We might, I might make this a little, these eyeballs a little smaller. Just kind of roll these in our fingers into little balls like this. And then what I like to do is place them back in here into the eyes like that. See, I'm pushing them back. Just like that. And then what I like to also do is we'll take some more clay here and we'll kind of like make eyebrows. See this? I took this little piece of clay and you can kind of create an eyebrow here. And we'll push that in there. And then we're going to proceed to do the same on the other side. I took this clay here. You just keep adding until you feel you got it right. So see I'm adding right there. Just like that. So now what we're going to do is I want to take 
and make the eyes. So I'm going to take and poke this here like this. Just like that. See that eye? And then we're going to proceed to do the same on the other side. And then you kind of rotate it like this. And then the next thing that I would like to do is start to rough it up a little bit. I want to show you. See how this is all roughed up for the fur? We're going to start to rough up the face a little bit that way. So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take and see that I'm taking short strokes just like that. We're going to do that. It almost looks like he has a little beard. And then we're going to take the one in the, the bottom of the mouth here and we'll rough that up a little bit. See, I'm taking downward strokes on that there, like that. <clears throat> Just like that. And then we're going to proceed to do it on the other sides. So I hope we can get a good view here. Just like that, we're roughing it up nice. And then, what I'd also like to do too is, for the top part of the head, I'm going to take this and, and make some like swivelly lines, kind of like that. And then, let me see, I want to make sure you get a good view of that. Just kind of take and make swivelly lines, just like that. And then what we're going to do too is we're going to rough, rough this up a little bit for the eyes, around the eyes. Just like that. And we're going to rough that up on that side. Just like that. And now what I want to proceed to do is, is, is do short strokes all around this area right here. Just like that. I'll show you how to do it. Just take it ever so slightly, just just like that. See the nice effect that it's creating right now? Say quick short strokes. Just like that. I'm going to work that a little bit in the bottom too. Then I'll try to get some around the edge here. See how I'm roughing that up nice. And then we'll proceed to do the other side over here. So I'm taking those, oops, taking these little short little strokes like this. Just like that. We'll just work that nicely. Just like that. Just like that. And then we'll work that. Just like that. See how, how nicely that's turning out now? Pretty impressive. So up the top here, I'll just want to kind of make squiggly lines up here. Almost to create more like matted hair or something up there. Whoop. So I'll do it. Whoop. 
say like, like, like that. Then we'll maybe try to do a little bit from the other side there. Right there. Uh, my fingers kind of damage some of the fur here. So now as we look at this, it looks pretty good, I think. See that, how we, we made the nose? We, I might make the, no, the nose here a little, little more pronounced again, make it a little bit bigger. But uh, so you get the, the nice face, so nice facial hair. You get the, so it came out pretty good. It looks very similar to the one that I did last night that we're going to paint tonight. Pretty cool to, you know, for a few simple strokes and adding clay, you can have a really nice product. And uh, the next step that I'll show you is how to paint that. So you can buy these acrylic paints, which can be uh, bought in any art store. And I'll show you the colors that we will need. Let's see, we're going to use brown. We're going to use red for the mouth, brown. And then we're going to use blue for the eyes, black, and orange so we'll have those colors and we have some small brushes here I'll use these I'll try to use one of these for the eyes uh, one of these for the mouth you know and um, yeah for some of the small stuff those these brushes will be the ones that be used for the body I will use this, this size brush here because that's uh, will cover a lot of area. I think the first step that I'd like to take is I want to paint the black eyes. And what we're going to do is I'm going to stick it right in here. See that? And then we're going to stick it in the other side. Just like that. I'm going to take this brush here. I'm just going to ever so slightly just go around. Now that we got these up here, I'm just going to go around the edge a little bit. Let me see, make sure I didn't miss anything. So I think it came out pretty good. If they smudge a little bit, don't worry about it because you can always go back over it later. The next thing that I want to paint is I think we will do the orange. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. We'll take the orange here. And what I want to do is kind of paint it up here a little bit where the hair is. I'll show you. See how we're just kind of doing that up there? And then we're going to cover that with a little brown afterward. Get that area there. Just like that. And then another area they want to paint orange is in, in here around the mouth. Because when I paint the brown over, it'll give it a nice effect.
Okay, we've done the, the orange. I'm going to come back to that in a second. I do want to add the red in the mouth. I think at this time I'd like to add that. So I'm going to take the red. You see this mouth area right in here? I'm going to stick the brush in there. Right in there. It's going to go back and forth a little bit. And that'll do for that. And then the next thing I want to do is look at my other model here. And see how that I kind of covered over like this area here with a little brown over the orange. And it has a really nice contrast. And we'll use a little gray in there and I'll show you how it will proceed. Okay, now we're going to do the brown. I'm going to go around this area here. And we'll go over a little bit of the orange. Because I think it adds a nice contrast when you have the two different colors. Like that. And we'll do the same thing up top. Because I like to mix them a little bit. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is proceed to paint brown around here, around the eye area. Like that. See that how we're just painting nicely. And we're going to proceed to do the other side. And then the last color that I want to put on here is add a little gray. I'll show you where we want to put the gray. We want to kind of dab it in here, like this area here. To give it a little more contrast. And we'll do it on the other side too, like this. Gives a nice little contrast. I think it came out pretty good. So that's came out uh, pretty nice. And I'll show you what it will look like when it's dried. This is what the orangutan head will look like when it's dried. It's nice because you can see the blue eyes, the red mouth, the orange in here. You still can see some of the orange with the brown, the nice gray that's mixed in here. And it gives it a really nice contrast. And uh, I hope you enjoyed coming to Creations in Clay tonight. And I do look forward to seeing you again, again next week. And uh, goodbye for now.